Hi everybody, it's good to see you back here. I'm sitting here against our old oak <laughs> that is standing at the entrance. And in this video I want to show you a bit around what is going on here. What we have been doing the last month since we arrived. And we have mostly been working on our cabin and started on a compost toilet. So far the weather has been really supportive. Today it's like uh, 17 degrees maybe, 16. There is a bit of wind, but we are really protected by the forest around us. So the wind re doesn't really get in too much here. And there is a bit of sun and some clouds. And the last weeks we have had so many uh, crane birds flying over. So beautiful and such a special sound they made when they go back to their winter hideout. At the moment Jonas is cutting down some trees because they take too much sun out. They are standing at the south south face of the field and they they give us a lot of shadow so there are some birds I started some weeks ago with filling in the holes with some mosses I collected and also rock wool. Then the reed boards all had to be refitted to be placed against the inside walls. As the cabin has many corners and triangular shapes, it took a lot of time to cut out the pieces of reed board. made a table with some scrap wood we had laying around and installed it in the corner of the cabin. And we made a form out of wood that could support our stove. Here at the front part, I finished yesterday the first layer of clay plaster. 
This clay plaster is a natural product that we could buy here in Estonia. It's pre-made and I just have to add some water and mix it up really well. And I can use it straight away on the walls. It's a really nice material. It gets really strong. Uh, and this is just the first layer, so we need to add a finishing layer and some, probably some lime, lime or clay paint on top of it. The left side here still needs to be done. You can see underneath the clay plaster are those reed boards. They are two and a half centimeters thick and they give a really good uh, attachment. They give, they give a really good attachment to the clay plaster. It's a bit hard for clay plaster to attach to the wood directly. And they also have a bit of insulation value and they make sure all the holes we had previously we first filled in filled them in and now it's covered nicely so we don't get wind inside anymore which is really pleasant Also have been working on this door. It's quite an effort to take off the outer layer to give us back some of the pretty colored wood that's underneath. But we'll get there. Give me some more hours. <laughs> Here we made a little place to put our shoes, which is really handy. So now we are inside the cabin. It's a bit hard to get a good angle because it's such a small space. I put on some lights. So Jonas started on the electricity some weeks ago and he gave he made sure we had a lamp and some electricity on top where we sleep. And we have some nicely worked in little lamps here on top of our table. And then I started with the reed boards and I give it all a first layer of pretty rough plaster. We made sure to install this little stove. It has been working really nice and fine. This here we will have to finish off later. Maybe we're gonna do an edge of stones and give the wood a really nice protective color and layer so it doesn't look so new anymore here will be the, a corner for our wood to dry out before we use it we have the fire on because it helps us to dry out the walls a bit faster October isn't like the the ideal time to be clay plastering ideally ideally you want to do it in summertime <laughs> when the, and there is a bit more heat to help you with it. And on our roof we will have to add two uh, roof windows. We have bought them and they are waiting for us to get a longer ladder so we can have them worked in and have a bit more light inside here. You can see there is a bit of damage here on this beam some parts of this house really had a tough time. I'm nearly done with the plastering and the reed boards inside, but only this part needs to be done. This triangle. 
around the windows and we will also add second, a second layer of glass to all of them from the outside. Very addictive uh, thing to do, this plastering, I can tell you. I'm not getting tired of it yet, but maybe I will. <laughs> In the future we will replace this old roof with uh, roof chicks, hand cleft wood chicks with, uh, made with an axe from our own trees. So that will be an interesting project this winter. I think it's gonna take a long time. Just behind this forest cabin here at the back on the south side the sun is peeping through. We will have a beautiful outside kitchen in the future, which I'm really looking forward to. But it will be, um, I think, mostly for our guests that might be coming to visit us. So it will be a roundhouse kitchen made with some, well, some wood of our own trees, I think. burned the down part of the wood because it's an old technique to preserve the woods so that fungi and insects don't get in so easily and it will last much longer and it's very simple so we love it Jonas is working on our future composting toilet, which is really exciting. He is practicing his skills, woodworking skills here. So we got this old container, which used to be the garbage bin of the whole village. But it became out of use and the neighbor gave it to us, which is really handy. We will add a 
beautiful window to the left side so we can, we can have a, a nice forest view while sitting on the toilet. And we have to make a handmade door in front and some stairs to get on top. And there's probably gonna be a, a green roof on top of it or maybe a, a sort of moss roof. I think it's gonna be pretty. got so many gifts from the neighbors they gave us tomatoes huge ones here zucchinis some meatballs homemade apple juice a bag of potatoes and even more gifts In between the renovation works, I sat down for some time to work on a woodcut print that will serve as a book cover. It was wonderful to be able to sit outside and be amazed by the beauty around me every time I looked up from the woodblock. During the time that I worked on the piece, the autumn colors made their appearance and blessed us with their intense vividness.
So that was a little update about what's going on here on our property. In the next video I want to talk a bit more in depth about why we chose to came live on this Estonian island called Saarima. Uh, there are many aspects about this decision that could be interesting. So if you want to follow along be sure to subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.